I don't have another 20 years to screw around. I really don't. Mm -hmm. And in house cleaning, I, I hate to say this, but I, I didn't specialize in money management. You don't know what you don't know. And I didn't know money management. I grew up in a big family and we weren't poor. I think poor is a state of mind, but we were broke and broke is a temporary situation. And so when I moved out into the real world, I was still broke and I took those behaviors with me because I didn't ever have any money. So I didn't know how to manage it. I didn't know how to invest. I didn't know how to save it. I didn't have anything for retirement. And when you run a house cleaning company, you are your own entrepreneur and nobody says, oh, now it's time for your 401k. And then in the summer of 2015, we had a troubled teenager that came to live with us. And she was a relative of a family member that we could not save. And so with sadness in our hearts, we kind of felt like this was a second chance. And so there I was, middle-aged woman, we've got a troubled teenager living with us. I've got this big business that requires still a lot of my time. What am I gonna do? And so I had to make a conscious decision in that moment. I've got to reinvent myself. The goal was to create a membership site that would then support us for the rest of our lives. That was that was going to be the end goal. And I, I will be so honest as to say the money was the goal. I wanted to earn money from it. It's a business decision. This was not a hobby. I wanted to make sure that this would pay my retirement for the rest of my life. So I created my first learning management system online back at the beginning of 2016. I joined, I looked at all the different options available and Lifter LMS made the most sense to me because it was the most user friendly. And so if you are going to create a learning management system or a learning course or a membership site or any of the things that Lifter LMS is so keen on as far as promoting yourself for the future, my suggestion is this. I'm a house cleaner. I'm a middle aged house cleaner that is self taught via YouTube and podcasts and stuff like that. If, if I can do it, oh my goodness, anybody can do it. And so if you have something to teach, uh, you gotta get there already because if you don't, your competitors will. So I was like, oh my God, you can make money off the internet. I was so, I was like, this is a thing. You don't have to just work with clients. Uh, my ideal customer is a, is a creative business, probably a one man team or couple. Uh, a lot of them are photographers, though that's changing. I'm branching out a bit. And it will be someone who's either built their own website or they've had it built for them and that they um, kind of know how to use it they really feel like they need to grip, get to grips with it. And it will be somebody who hasn't um, done a lot of reading around the subject of digital marketing or online marketing. Uh, so I noticed, so everything has come about just from demand from my community. So I was selling themes, but then realized that people actually wanted some education on how to build a website. Then I was teaching people to build websites and I noticed that they weren't really then using their website as a marketing tool. So people were really overwhelmed by all the things they felt they had to do. They had to know about Facebook and Instagram and you know, they weren't using email marketing. They didn't have their Facebook pixel in. All the kind of standard things that I do with a, a custom client, people were just like building their sites and they looked lovely and then that was it. Right. They were just like a pretty shop window and I kept posting. I've got quite a big Facebook group that I use as a kind of driver for a lot of growth and nobody knew any of this stuff. I was starting to kind of do little lives in my Facebook group and you're like, oh, mind blown, I didn't know you can do that. So I, was, I just thought, do you know what? I want a kind of low, fairly low cost membership where people feel really supported. And my elevator pitch is one thing once a month, we do it together, I give them all the swipe files, everything they need, then we move on together as a community. So people ha don't feel overwhelmed. So one thing I really look for in a community is that it's friendly and inclusive. I go out of my way to make friends with people whose tools I'm a heavy user of. So I couldn't see that personal touch in any of the other communities um, and I could in yours. And that was what really kind of attracted me to it really. And I thought actually, this is a community that listens, Chris listens, you know, he, he, he's there in the community, he's very present and that's how I run my community. So I, that was for me the deciding factor. Last year, April 1st, 2017, we acquired Divi Space from SJ James, who's also another leader in the Divi community. And SJ actually put out one of the first, probably the first course in the Divi community almost three years ago. It was a CSS course. Last November, uh, SJ came to me, we met. SJ is working, he's still a part of Divi Space. We're still together. Um, he was just overwhelmed with, with handling a one-man show, solopreneur, and he wanted to focus on his genius, which was teaching and showing people how to do things and building products. So we partnered. He came to me in November and he said, you know, David, he said, I have this idea I want to present to you. 
um, you know, I want to see if you're open to it. And he said, I did the CSS course. I'd like to do a, um, a second course, a better because my learning has improved so much from when I put the original course out. I'd like to go deeper with CSS and I'd like to add jQuery. Uh, and then we discussed it. We decided to grandfather in the previous students that had taken enrolled in his CSS course so that they could get could continue to evolve um, and I thought it was a great idea and we said okay let's do it you know and he he started the process of putting it together uh, we mapped out a night an, an outline we put a timeline together and stuff and we launched it on May 1st of 2018 uh, the first class and we had almost 400 students sign up for the course well for me it was um, it was it was just you know the process of of completing it you know that was a huge win just you know taking it from step by step throughout the process of launching the MVP and doing really well you know creating the course content what that looked like how much time that was going to take um, building out the LMS that was a win that was a huge win because you know what we've built a lot of WordPress websites we've done a lot of custom jobs but we had never built an LMS before I knew Chris I met him at a WordPress event we met personally at, at Pressnomics and I knew that I wanted to go with a lifter because I, I want to support people that I know um, you know, personally and stuff. I just, it's just kind of a thing with me. Uh, I think it's awesome that we help each other and grow. So I didn't know what to expect. You know, we went in, put Lifter on the site and we built it. You know, we, 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 we did a great job with it. So that was a, a big win. My favorite feature about Lifter would definitely have to be the course builder. Yeah. Right? It's just, it's dope. If you like being in control of what you have created, if you like having a great team of, of support behind you, if you just like something that looks great. So with that, the ease of access, how beautiful it looks. And I like the little the little tabs and everything that kind of come down to where they can actually toggle things down and see their course progress. I'll tell anybody this right here, man. If you're on the fence, you only have, you can look this up. There's a chart online and it's, uh, it's just a bunch of squares, right? And it rep each one of those squares represents how many weeks that a person has to live in a typical lifetime. We've gotten through quite a bit of those weeks and you have so much time left. Do not look at this video and do not look at Lifter LMS two years from now, wishing that you had taken some action today that you, you, uh, that you should have done already. You know what I mean? Do it now, for God's sake, do it now. But you have the opportunity to take advantage of somebody and, and a product that really is easy to use. And if you don't know what you're doing, there's a great support group behind you, but it's just awesome. You know, you guys aren't in my inbox all the time trying to push X, Y, and Z and everything all the time. It's always some kind of help. You know, you guys are very helpful. You always make sure that you keep the end user and everything in mind. You know, what do you do this? And, and the people that you interview too, I, I watch those as well. And they just give up so much great value, you know, and there's a great life out there and it's got your name all over it. But as long as you're sitting on the fence and as long as you're, you have all this analysis paralysis, what do I do? The only thing you have to do, like Les Brown says is, the only thing you have to do is decide make the decision to be great you can wake up today at 20 30 40 50 years old and just decide that you are going to do something different 